Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today, former CIA spy Robert Steele had some things to say about the AMC stock, and more specifically, about market corruption in general. I've also got another video that I want to show you that shows that the SEC has supposedly been investigating dark pools for quite some time. Trust me guys, you do not want to miss this video, so stay tuned and let's make some money. But guys, before I dive into the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to the 2,700 of you that have currently dinged that notification bell, because you guys are always the first to watch a new video as soon as it's released. So guys, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and ding that notification bell if you haven't already, so that you don't miss another video just like this one. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, let's hear what he has to say. We have it all. All of the illicit wealth in the world has been tracked by the National Security Agency for the past 15 years. We now know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Wall Street has stolen $100 trillion from Main Street with naked short selling. We also know that Wall Street has laundered $100 trillion in dirty money from trafficking in children and women and uh, drugs and guns and gold. I could never tire of saying that 90% of the people in the U.S. government, the U.S. military, the U.S. intelligence community are good people trapped in a bad system. The secret intelligence community serves the deep state. It does not serve the American public. And CIA in particular has been doing torture, rendition and torture, drone assassination, regime change, helping to start wars on, uh, based on lies, all because war and trafficking in humans and drugs and so forth are a profit center for Wall Street and the deep state. And once the president gets Benny into NSA and processes 100% of what we have at NSA, we have every single one of you by the balls. You cannot survive this. You have one out. The truth and reconciliation out is make the deal, mother, or you are going to die. Now, I don't want to address too much of what was said in a later portion of that video, but he did say at the start that the NSA has 100% confirmed that Wall Street has stolen over $100 trillion from Main Street. But what does he specifically mean when he says Main Street? Main Street describes the average American investors, small independent businesses and investment institutions, or the real economy. Wall Street represents the high net worth investors, large global corporations, or the capital market high finance. Therefore, he's basically saying that Wall Street has stolen over $100 trillion from regular people like you and I. And I think it's time we take it back. This AMC movement is now more than just saving a single company, AMC, from bankruptcy. It's a sign of fighting against the system. It's evident that dark pool abuse is rampant in the marketplace, as is naked shorts, failed to delivers, and everything else that has been discussed over the previous few months. It has been brought to the attention of the SEC, the DTCC, the NSEC, and everyone else in that political space. However, so far, they haven't yet acted on our claims. They have been putting in place and suggesting new rules to deal with a potential market crash that will arise from over-leveraged shorts. Those over-leveraged shorts, naked shorts, and fair to delivers are primarily concentrated at the moment in AMC and GameStop. I personally am still holding out hope that the DTCC and the SEC will bring down the hammer on them. They're just trying to put processes in place to minimise the fallout. However, this video here suggests that the SEC has been investigating dark pools for quite some time and still has yet not acted on it. Scott Patterson, let's start from the beginning. What are dark pools? Uh, dark pools, the name of my new book, Dark Pools. Uh, these, there's a technical term. Um, they're basically these electronic venues where stocks are swapped privately or in secret away from the, the big exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange. In my book, I'm actually making an, an argument that the entire market has gone dark. It's not just the dark pools. Uh, they kind of rose up in the early 2000s as more and more electronic trading moved on to the exchanges. Now, because electronic trading is everywhere, you can't get away from it. The market has become incredibly opaque, and no one really knows what's going on, especially the regulators. Well, a lot of high-frequency traders swim in these dark pools. How dangerous right. are the waters? Right. Uh, well, they're getting pretty toxic, I think. Uh, the exchanges 
which is where most people used to trade, have they started catering to these high frequency traders about 10 years ago. The dark pools rose up so the big firms could go and trade in secret away from the high frequency traders. Now the I guess the, the dirty little secret of the dark pools is the high frequency traders are swimming there too. So there's nowhere to hide, essentially. And how does this affect individual investors like you and me? Is it chasing them out? Did they cause the flash crash? How dangerous is it for the average Joe investor? Mm -hmm. Well, the high frequency firms serve a purpose, okay? They're sort of like the new market makers of the market, so they do provide liquidity for big firms to trade, but they also uh, engage in sort of a statistical front running. Um, they can detect when big orders are coming into the market. That's why the big firms are fleeing to the dark pools. Um, but like I say, they're there too. So it does, when, a, when a big institution is trying to trade, these guys will run up the price and make it more expensive to buy and sell. And the government is trying to clamp down on these dark pools and on these uh, insidious traders. What's the government doing? The uh, SEC right now is looking into this. Uh, we've reported uh, in a few stories in the Wall Street Journal that they're investigating some of the practices that high-frequency traders uh, are engaging in on exchanges and in dark pools. So they're trying, but it's very complicated. And sometimes I feel like the regulators are outgunned because of how complex it is. Here's the thing. We keep hearing that volumes keep declining, but high frequency trading keeps increasing. Can you reconcile those two? Uh, well, I guess uh, volume and liquidity aren't always the same thing. So high frequency traders put a lot of liquidity into the market and a lot of orders, but they're not always trading. They're canceling a lot of their orders. And a lot of regular traders are running away because they, you know, I've talked to hedge fund managers and, and traders who say they just can't trade in these markets anymore because it's, it's too hard to, to get an order executed. So I personally think that was a great video that explained a bit about dark pools, about the current problems in the market, and even about order spoofing, the way that these high frequency firms are putting up orders and then canceling them before they're filled. And it shows that this process has been going on for a long time. This video came out in 2012, which means the SEC have supposedly been investigating dark pools for nearly 10 years now, basically nine years. And it also shows that those practices like spoofing that have been supposedly illegal for over 15 years now have been going on almost as well for 10 years and are still going unpunished. Currently the system is very, very corrupt, but broken systems don't get fixed until people speak up about it. Black people were slaves for too long until people spoke up. Women had no rights until enough people spoke up. Gay marriage was illegal for a long time until enough people spoke up. Marijuana was illegal in all 50 states for a long time until enough people spoke up. Look how long it's taking for all 50 states to get on board. We're still working on this. People want to make financial markets fair and just, and now millions of apes are practically digitally rioting all over Twitter. People have had enough. So now apes and retail are doing what? Speaking up. Guess what? This too will take time. Therefore, it will take time for the SEC and the DTCC to bring the hammer down. But if enough people continue to speak out, it will happen eventually. Can't wait to say I told you so twice after the mother of all short squeezes. Once to people that doubted AMC and once to all the ungrateful apes that kept saying the SEC is useless. You're right to doubt the SEC. They have not proven to be useful historically. We, the apes, are changing that. None of these rules would be coming out if it weren't for us. You, me, on Twitter, typing away at our frustrations at SEC enforcement, etc. Change.org petitions here and there, people have had enough. I get it. Let's observe, see what Gensler and the rest of American powers are made of. Let's watch. If I'm wrong, I'll admit it. So sit back, grab a cold beer or roll yourself a joint of some good gas, or both, or neither, and just relax, apes. AMC to the moon, I love all of you. Guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think about that ex-CIA spy talking about corruption in the market and that video from 2012 about how the SEC have supposedly been investigating dark pools for nearly 10 years now. If you want to pick up some shares in AMC but you haven't even yet signed up for a trading platform yet, be sure to sign up with Fidelity because they don't sell your order flow to market makers like Citadel who run it through the dark pool. Basically, 
Don't use Weeble or Robinhood or platforms like that because they do sell your order flow to the dark pool. Although saying that, Weeble is an excellent beginner investment platform. They've got great charting, news, option order flow, company fundamentals, they've got the lot. So if you wanna buy any other shares in like Apple or Amazon or Tesla, Netflix, anything else, be sure to use the link down in the description below to get some free shares. If you're in the UK, be sure to sign up with Free Trade, also linked in the description below because they also don't sell your order flow. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.